How easy is it to get up in the morning when you know you're not doing all that it takes? It's not very easy at all. You can just lay there awake thinking, oh, what's a few more minutes in bed? It won't matter much anyway. Wrong. It does matter. It will matter. Now, how easy is it to get up in the morning when you're pouring it on, doing the best you can, anxious to get going, make progress toward your dreams? It's a whole different story. When you're resting to renew your reserves, it's much different than resting to avoid your day. When you're psyched up and excited for your life, when you're excited for what you've planned to accomplish for the day, it's amazing you'll wake up before the alarm clock even tries to startle you awake. Your successes fuel your ambition. Your successes give you extra energy. Your successes pave the way for more successes. It's the snowball effect. With one success, you're excited to meet another, and another, and another. And pretty soon, the disciplines that were so difficult in the beginning, the disciplines that got you going, are now part of your philosophy. How do you know when you're successful? Do you have to be a millionaire? No. If you earn 10,000 a year and that's the best you can do, that's enough. The key is to just do the best you can. If it's 10,000 a year, wonderful. If it's 100,000 a year, wonderful. If it's a million a year, wonderful. It doesn't matter 10,000 a year or a million a year. It doesn't matter as long as you've done the best you possibly can. Be the most you possibly can, and here's why. The essence of life is growth. Here's what's interesting. How tall will a tree grow? Approximately. As tall as it possibly can. You never heard of a tree growing half as high as it could. No, trees don't grow half. Trees send their roots down as deep as possible. Stretch their limbs up as high as possible. Produce every leaf possible and every fruit possible. Now, why wouldn't human beings strive to their maximum possibility? Here's why. Because we've been given the dignity of choice. It makes us different than alligators and trees and birds. And here's the choice. To become part of what we could be, enough to get by, or to become all that we can be. My best advice for you is to choose the all. Earn all you can, make all the friends you can, read as many books as you can, develop as many skills as you can, see as much as possible, do as much as possible, make as much fortune as possible, give as much of it away as possible. The max, there's no life like it. I'm telling you once I got on track, I've never looked back. Pick up the challenge, go for it. Take the best of the two easy. Take the root of, it's easy to get ahead. It's easy to do all you can. It's easy to succeed. It's easy to have financial freedom. The more you do, the more you get. So the two primary benefits of positive reinforcement are, number one, to build good habits. And number two, to create more energy to fuel your ambitions, your desires, your achievements. just try to get through the day. 
never writing anything down, never keeping track of their progress along the way, never really knowing if they are doing all they can to reach their goals, to drive their ambition. But gifted people learn to get from the day. They don't let a day end without picking up some valuable experience, some emotional content, some idea that may positively affect their future. To get the most from a day, to learn the most from a day, you need to be able to reflect on the day. And how can you reflect on a day unless you record it in history?